Happy St. Patrick's Day, everybody. It's March 17th, so everybody in New York City is Irish for a day. Quick something about myself. I am a quarter Irish. My people came from County Cork, just after the Irish potato famine, which began in 1845, and was the cause of the largest Irish diaspora here to North America, and is honored here with the Irish Hunger Memorial. We came over as the Bennets, but maybe originated as the Mick Bennets. I'm also half Jewish. I got Polish roots, German, French, English, a little bit of Welsh. I'm a big American mutt, and I'm proud of it. But today, I'm celebrating my Irish heritage in a very American way by celebrating St. Patrick's Day. St. Paddy's Day, or the Feast of St. Patrick, celebrates the patron saint of Ireland who brought Christianity to Ireland back in the fifth century. The whole driving the snakes out of Ireland thing is an allegory, as there have never been snakes in Ireland. St. Patrick's Day falls on Lent, when an observer would abstain from a number of different luxuries. However, the Lenten restrictions on food and alcohol are lifted on St. Patty's Day, which is why we associate food and drink with St. Patrick's more than anything else. And this is America. Eating and drinking is what we do. So St. Patrick's feels a lot more American these days than it does Irish. In fact, in Ireland, the celebrations would be a lot smaller. There'd be a church service. Food, yes, drink, yeah, music. There'd be a parade but nothing like what we have here. The New York City St. Patrick's Day Parade can see up to a quarter of a million people. It makes it the largest in the world. You know who's got the smallest? Ireland. Dripsy, County Cork. The parade goes 100 yards from one of the town pubs to the other. The first St. Patrick's Day Parade in New York City was in 1762, back when this was all still England. It was thrown by Irish expatriates as well as members of the British Army, and they wore green, which has always been a color representing Irish nationalism. But it was especially pointed at the time as it was illegal to wear green in Ireland then. Just like in Ireland, St. Paddy's here in New York City is about celebrating Irish culture and tradition. But most importantly, the people, which is why everybody's Irish today. And that's reflected in the parade. You'll notice no floats, only people. A lot of those people are in law enforcement and fire department, New York's finest, New York's bravest, very strong Irish contingency. So yeah, St. Patrick's Day is a lot more popular in the US than it is in Ireland. So let's get to the traditions. Whiskey, beer, green beer. It's a bit kitschy, as are all American holidays. In fact, until 1970, pubs were closed by law in Ireland, USA. So you're getting a sense that a lot of these traditions are more Irish American than they are Irish, as is the food. A traditional Irish meal on St. Patrick's Day here in New York City will be corned beef and cabbage or a corned beef sandwich, but you would never eat corned beef back in Ireland. The traditional food over there is lamb or bacon. Beef was always associated with the oppressor, the English colonists. How are you gonna eat English food on an Irish holiday? The answer comes back to the Irish immigrants here in the United States. A lot of the original Irish settlers found themselves becoming neighbors with another culture of people very similar to their own. A culture of people that escaped oppression by fleeing across the globe only to find discrimination here in the United States. A culture of people that found importance in maintaining traditions as far as family, food, and the arts. The Jews. A lot of these Irish settlers found themselves just around the corner from kosher delis that were serving up delicious, flavorful, and most importantly, affordable corned beef. Did I mention that I'm Jewish and Irish? This is my holiday. So when you celebrate St. Patrick's Day, when you eat the eats and drink the drinks, you're really celebrating immigration, which is definitely worth celebrating. Shalom to everybody. We hope you enjoyed this episode. Be sure to subscribe. We have so much more we can't wait to share with you. Happy St. Patty's. See you real soon.